have them all laid out. I have some satin gold spray paint that I used from the last ones. I've shaken it and now I'm going to spray them. Oh, I remember they need heat. Good morning. So this is my headband slash dummy board. And you guys can see that it's very full. Well, except for these few ones here. They must have fallen off. <laughs> um, especially the dummy board, it's very full. I'm pretty sure I have more dummies that don't fit or I just haven't put them back or whatever. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna make another one. I don't have this fabric again. I'm kind of bummed. Oh, see? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, okay. The magnet just doesn't want to stay. You can stay there. So anyways, I don't have that fabric again, so I'm just going to do like the black and the gold and try and get it to theme in. So what I'm making is this. The reason I have showed you this photo is because I didn't know what I was making yet, so I just thought I would show you a photo of what it was. Um, so here are the supplies that I have. Um, I always leave something out, so I'll tell you if I need anything later on. But I've got a canvas just from home that we're not using anymore. You can go and buy a plain canvas if you want to, but we don't want this anymore. It's not being used, so I'm just going to cover this with fabric. I've got a whiteboard that is magnetic. So it's got the two magnets and it's like a frame. This was $7 from the reject shop. I've got a staple gun, some black fabric, some ribbon, some gold and black ribbon, some headbands to measure up the size, hot glue gun, some scissors, pens, um, stuff like that, some wooden pegs that I have already spray painted gold. I might need to spray paint more because I have changed the canvas. I was going to use that one, now I'm going to use this one. and I. I think I'm gonna put it there. Excuse the mess. We're in the middle of nursery renos at the moment. <laughs> no, not really nursery renos, but we're just changing everything around. And by where, I mean me. <laughs> the babies are all sleeping, doing nothing. I'm going to open up this magnetic board. Oh, of course I can't open it. That's why I bought scissors. This, these are really cheaply made. It's literally like cardboard. Oh, I'm going to off. It's so cheaply made that I can't get it pulled apart. I guess that's so it didn't chip. I don't know. Alright, rubbish. I don't know what I'm going to do with those magnets. My other magnets are up there. If I can get up there in a minute, I'll put them up there too. Um, I just really want to pull this apart. My first one that I used was already pulled apart, so I don't really mind. How do you... Can I just whack it? Oh no, I broke the... <laughs> I put like dents in it. How do you get this apart? I should just like... Oh, there we go. There's a corner. Oh, okay. There's one corner. Alright. Burn with that. Burn with that. And this should just slide it out. You know, if I didn't break it, it would be good. Okay, so that one comes off. Alright, cardboard. Also cardboard. We don't want this attached because we want it to be thin, so... I don't want you to bend either. I was going to cut it into strips because I had this plan and I changed my mind. Should I do upways or crossways? I think upways. 
Okay, does that make sense or no? And then I'm going to and what I'm doing now is just um, sorting out which way things are gonna go. Obviously this is gonna have black over it and then this will be under and it will be black and then these will be on top. But I just want to see how that they're gonna sit on here and how many I can get across. Three, four, three, close. Which way everything's gonna go? It's upside down. Um, I'll show you what it will look like, but I can't really move it too much. We'll have the magnetic board down the bottom in the middle. There will be three, maybe four, if I paint more pegs either side, and then the rest of the pegs will be at the top to hold all the dummy clips. Ah, uh, sorry, not dummy clips. The headbands. Oh my god, I totally need another dummy clip holder. Maybe I can add something on the bottom. Oh my god, I could add something on the bottom to hold dummy clips. I think I just thought of an idea. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pull this off. I'll center this piece here. I'm thinking I'm going to get a frame like the other one for it. But this is my basic design. I'm going from here. I want to blend this down. So get my hot glue in. And plug that in. I'm going to get the black and I'm going to cover the whole. What is this called? This is called canvas. <laughs> I'm going to cover the whole canvas. But right now I'm going to mark up where this should go. I'm just going to line up at the bottom. And because I have this little. So for the corners, I just tucked it like a birthday present, I guess. I 
pushed like down and made like a little triangly thing like you would when you wrapped a birthday present and just pulled it really tight. And then I did both of the corners, I stapled them really hard. It's kind of why I'm on the ground so that I can put my body weight into the staple so it does go through. And then I, once I did the corners, then I did the, the middle and then I just pulled it really tight the whole way around. is the canvas. It's pulled nice and tight. What I'm going to do is just go around and cut all the um, edges off. Make it pretty. Not that you're going to see this, but just makes me feel better. Now I'm going to glue on all of these. That would be the vacuum in the background. So apologies for that. I'm going to glue these all across the top. I don't have a frame, but I'm yet to find a frame. Um, I'll have to go out and get one or find one at home. I'm not sure what I'll do for that. I think I have one somewhere and I'll just like spray paint it. I don't have a frame so I'm going to cut this ribbon and lay the ribbon on to mark out the, the magnetic board so that I know where I can put the dummies and not put them because I don't want to have to feel each time and it will just kind of make more sense if it's boarded out so I'm going to use this ribbon. Um, I just laid it out how I want it. First I'm going to cut bottom piece that goes from here to here and that's the first bit I'm going to glue on then I'm going to glue on the two side pieces and when I glue the two side pieces on I'm going to make sure that they roll underneath the board so it looks neat and tidy and it covers the ends over and the last piece I'll put on is across the top like this and that will cover the top pieces and again roll over on the sides so let's do that So I think we're done. It's a little plain this one, but once it gets filled up with stuff, you can see that they are um, very colorful as it is. So plain is okay because yeah, like I said, it gets filled up. I did have a boo boo over here where I glued it on wonky and I fixed it up. I'm not sure if it's wonky. 
It looks straight backwards in a camera right now, so <laughs> I'm gonna call that a win. <laughs> I'm just getting all like the little bits of uh, glue that are stuck to the fabric and stuff like that on. A few tips when you're doing this is when you use your hot glue, make sure that your glue is hot for while you are um, placing the fabric down, the ribbon down, sorry, or you'll actually end up with lines in the ribbon and you don't want that. So you may get a few burns, but it's worth it. <laughs> so another little tip was when I glued on my pegs, they're obviously not exactly perfect and I really don't mind. If you wanted to, you'd roll them up and stick them on. But I was just doing um, an in, like, in the middle kind of thing. So you start with two on the outside, then you measure to the middle. And then I went to the middle of that. And then, I mean, I did that side right and that side was already just messed up. So I just kind of went along with it. This is all done and finally hung. I moved this one over closer to the cot so that I can get to them because I just, it wasn't good. <laughs> the lamp's there. So now I have two. And they're full. <laughs> I'm gonna add, I think, more, uh, what do you call them? These things. It's not a hook. These ones are probably too round. I don't know. I'm gonna add some more, probably like this under there. But my bead dummy clips filled up, so <laughs> they go there. And those ones can go there. We're just, you know, working on things at the moment. It's kind of bare compared to that one. That one has like the pretty bows and stuff. I put these on it. Probably because I sort of messed this up here. <laughs> but other it looks alright. I think I should get a frame for here though. But then it makes it heavy. I don't know, it's a work in progress. You guys know what I'm like. Cheerio!